Um, hi guys, welcome to this video. This is Dennis from Spera Home, Turi in Valencia. We're going to be checking out a pretty, pretty neat apartment, okay? Um, first thing that we will see is that it's a super, super massive apartment. Um, we're going to have into account that we've got um, six bedrooms, okay? We also got several different bathrooms. We got uh, two kind of exterior bathrooms and we got um, several different ensuite bathrooms in some of the bedrooms, okay? We also got a living room, um, kitchen and the entrance, all of which are all together situated in an open space as we will see in just a few seconds. And we also got um, one balcony, which kind of divides into two space, um, which it's occupying pretty much the exterior side of um, bedroom number six and bedroom number five, okay? Um, overall, really, really neat apartments. Everything's looking super modern, really clean, um, really neatly distributed, and it's super chill to live in here. Um, as we'll see, we also got a lot of lights. It is mainly exterior apartment, so that's also um, a really important feature. And yeah, really modern and really neat uh, to stay over here. It is also fully equipped since we've got several different uh, pieces of equipment. Okay, uh, kitchen's fully equipped, bathrooms are all fully equipped. Um, also super modern. We've got desks, uh, we've got bed lining, we've got beds. Um, etc. So, uh, super prepared for us if we want to study, if we want to work, um, or do whatever. Also, we're situated uh, kind of in the neighborhood of El Cedro, which is a really, really well-known um, neighborhood of Valencia. We're situated um, pretty near the university area, and we've got also a lot of restaurants and a lot of activity that we can do over here. So, we're now going to check out a brief plan of the apartment, okay? As we mentioned over here, we got the entrance space, we got the living room, we got the kitchen area over here. And then if we go through this space, we will find a pretty long corridor where we got divided um, pretty much the rest of the apartment. Uh, that being bedroom number six with a balcony, bedroom number five at the right hand side, also with a balcony, bedroom number four, bedroom number three um, at the end and in the right hand side, bedroom number two at the end in a straight line, bedroom number one, bathroom number two, and bathroom number one okay we're gonna go now ahead and check out first this entrance space as you can see and as we've been seeing really really neat uh, looking overall we got the door over here we got a couch okay and this will be pretty much the space that conforms the entrance area also we got this mat in the floor and we're now gonna place ourselves over here okay just as if we went through the entrance door Okay, this would be what we would see exactly, couch uh, that we just saw. And we're gonna start off now turning slightly to the left to see the kitchen. As we mentioned, we got it all together with the living room area in an open space. And seems really, really modern. Everything's looking super clean, super neat. And we got um, the fridge. We got over here um, two microwaves. We got the cooking fire. We got the oven just underneath. We find a lot of space for storage in the top hand side, in the bottom also, over here, um, some storage in the form of drawers, which as you can see, are also equipped in the interior. Okay, over here we got um, the sink, which is kind of divided into two parts. And we also got um, the access through this space, okay, to this kind of um, laundry area, which can be also used for storage has some cleaning products also, uh, the washing machine, and more equipment. As you can see too, we can hang our clothes on this spot over here, this kind of interior patio, okay? So we can dry our clothes pretty neatly. Going now back in through this door, we can check briefly the kitchen from this angle. Okay. And we're gonna head now into the living room area, which is a really neat um, living room. Okay, we got, as you can see, this table, which is uh, kind of rectangle. We got six chairs surrounding it, some decoration in the center. We got over here this piece of furniture with some decoration on the top. And in this other side, we can see that we got a pretty, pretty massive um, television um, situated also on top of this piece of furniture. And at this right hand side, we also got another piece of um, furniture, okay, which has some space over here in the shelves for some storage or decoration. 
we're now going to turn into the corridor and starting off right over here over the right hand side we find bedroom number six pretty cool thing is that all the bedrooms um first of all numbered which is really cool we can see um their number over here and they all have their own key so we can lock it from the inside and from the outside okay so going over here we got uh, as mentioned bedroom number six and we can see um, the furniture so if we go to this side we got a desk we got some space on the left and the bottom we got a chair we got a light on the corner to this side we got this double size bed which is pretty big we got a fan okay which is hanging from the ceiling and turning to this side we got this standalone wardrobe okay it has two doors on the bottom and we got um, space for storage in the interior. We got an extra table just besides the wardrobe. And a pretty cool feature, as we mentioned, the access to this first balcony. Okay, which as you can see, it's a pretty nice spot um, overall. Okay, pretty big as you can see too, since we can fit um, a table, maybe some chairs, have something for dinner, just um, chill over here, doing something. And it's pretty cool. We got these views um, over here. Okay, we watch to this side and to this other side. And now we're gonna go to the next bedroom. Okay, so we're gonna go first off in a straight line. We're gonna turn to the right hand side and we can take out bedroom number five. As you can see, pretty big bedroom. We find this double size bed. Over here, we got a table um, attached to it with a drawer. We got this desk, which has a chair, has a lot of space for storage too in the left hand side. We got some shelves attached to the desk at the right hand side. We also got this standalone wardrobe over here. Okay, we got also some extra doors in the bottom and the access to, to the balcony, which as we mentioned was kind of um, divided for bedroom number five and bedroom number six. Okay, over here we got the space and pretty much uh, we got the same views that we saw uh, from the previous balcony. We also got, as we can see, the string so we can hang our clothes pretty neatly. Now we head back into the corridor and if we go in a straight line, pretty much um, two steps, we turn into bedroom number four. We've got also a lot of equipment going on. We're gonna start off with this window over here, which has these views. We've got also this door where we can cover up the window. We find a double sized bed, which is pretty, pretty big. A table. And to this other side, we've got a desk with a chair, some shelves on the top over here, as you can see, they're empty. We've got a fan and a light hanging from the ceiling. And to the right hand side, we got some doors. And over here, the stand on the wardrobe, which is pretty massive. Okay, we're gonna check out the interior over here. Okay. Now we're gonna head back to the corridor. We turn over here, go pretty much up until the end, and turn into the right. Okay, we're gonna take out um, bedroom number three. Okay, pretty nice bedroom too. This one has um, its own entrance bathroom, as we see in just a few seconds. We've got a desk, we've got a chair, we've got a light on the top, we've got some drawers at the bottom, some shelves over here, um, pretty much empty. So, as we can see, we've got plenty of space for storage or decoration. Going to this side, we can see that we got this general wardrobe. Okay, pretty much um, same kind of wardrobe that we've been seeing. We got this double size bed, really neatly settled. We got a table with some decoration on the top and a door. A window over here. Okay, with uh, these views that we saw before. And attached over here to the um, bed, okay, we got our own answered bathroom as we mentioned. So we're gonna go inside and we see uh, to the side the shower, 
Okay, very modern. We got the sink. We got a mirror on the top. And if we turn to this other side, we find the toilets and a window with um, same exact views. Okay. Now we head over here in a straight line. We're gonna go on to the next bedroom. Okay, bedroom number two. And we access to the door. We find the single size bed, which is that till the end um, of the bedroom. We've got a window, this time with some interior battery views. We can cover up also the window with this door, which is pretty nice. And to this other side, we can find the desk, which has some drawers, some decoration at the top, a light. We've got a chair. We've got also um, this table with three drawers and a pretty big standalone wardrobe. Now if we go over here, we also find a row in suit bathroom, so really, really nice. Also, as you can see, everything is super modern, really clean, and really, really nicely distributed throughout the whole apartment. Over here, we can see um, the shower. Okay, and if we turn to this other side, we got uh, the toilet space, we got the sink, we got some space in the bottom for storage, and on top of the sink, we find this mirror. Now we're gonna go um, to the last of the bedrooms. Okay, so if we go to this corridor and turn into the right, we go into bedroom number one. Okay, where we find this single size bed attached um, to this left hand side of the bedroom. We got a desk with some decoration, we got a light, we got a chair, some space in the bottom for storage, a window, uh, this time with um, same views of this interior patio. And turning to this side, we got this space um, in the form of shelves attached to the wall. And we got this standalone wardrobe. Now we're going to check out um, bathroom number two, which is over here. Okay, um, it's kind of a narrow bathroom, but it is super modern, so uh, that kind of uh, makes it out. Okay, and we got a sink, we got the mirror on the top, which is pretty big. We got some space for storage down in the bottom side. Okay, we can manage to open the doors over here. And if we go to this other side, we got um, the toilet and the shower space. So you can see pretty modern um, patterns really nicely contrast with each other uh, in the se several different walls. Okay, and over here, we got this angle. And now we're gonna check out the last part of the apartment, which is um, bathroom number one. It is over here, remember, attached to the uh, living room area where we came in. We watch the step and we find um, the bathroom. So we've got the sink over here, we've got a mirror, okay, which is pretty big. We've got some cool patterns that go right in the walls, some space in the bottom. The toilet and at the end of the bathroom so you can see over here if we turn slightly to the left we can see the shower okay right guys so we're gonna leave you just over here this has been Dennis from Spot at Home hope you really really enjoyed this video let's see you in the next one